life, love, and pop pop culture. Hi guys, I'm Danielle Delgado. And I'm Erin Willett, and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. You guys may remember Erin from a little show called The Voice. <laughs> Tell me how your life has changed since The Voice. Wow. Um, I did The Voice right after college, so I think for everyone right after college, it's just like this big kind of exploration of like seeing the real world and my real world was a reality show so it was very crazy but um after that show it kind of catapulted me into opportunities that I never thought were possible as a singer and a songwriter I started writing in LA I moved back to New York and I've been performing ever since and then I also was on The Biggest Loser which was an awesome opportunity to change my life in a completely other way um so my, my life's great. I really can't complain. It's it's really cool to rub shoulders with a lot of really influential people yeah. in the so world. today we're here at the Purple Stride Walk, which mm -hmm. I know means so much to you because your yeah. family was affected by cancer. Yeah. So tell me how important it is for you to be here today. I mean, it's just important to raise awareness for such a scary cancer that is one of the, you know, it's the deadliest cancers in the world. Pancreatic cancer, my father was diagnosed with in 2011 and he passed away like five, six short months right after that. And it's just, it's terrible because a lot of the time it is found in such late stages. And because of that, you're not seeing a, a big survival rate. So if we do raise awareness and we show that early detection is key, that maybe that survival rate can start going up. It has been going up. We need it to go up more. I know Pancreatic Cancer Action Network's goal is to double the survival rate by 2020. And I hope that it's even more than that. So today you're performing your new single, yes. Hope's a Lie, yes. which is amazing. If you guys haven't heard it, you guys have to go check it out. Yes, and you have to <laughs> download it. You have to download Hope's Alive. Yes. <laughs> but you call it your like empowerment anthem. So yes. tell me how important it was for you to write this and why it's so empowering to you. Well, uh, you know, my father was diagnosed and passed away in 2011 and and I have worked with this organization for a while but last year my friend Liz Russo called me and unfortunately her father was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and I had written songs with her she's an amazing songwriter and she was like we need to do something we need to write a song and I was absolutely in because anything that Liz says is going to happen will happen and we got in a room we brought in another songwriter Tova Lipvin whose mother actually has um, survived pancreatic cancer past five years which is incredible and we kind of just started writing from our experience, someone who's lost someone, someone who's going through it, and someone who's seen the other side of it. And the thing that we found that was common was this idea that no matter what, no matter what people are going through with this disease, it doesn't just affect them, it affects the people around them, their families, their caregivers, their friends. It's It, it really just seeps into all of the veins and cracks of everybody. And that's why you see so many people here at Pancreatic Cancer, or I'm sorry, at the Purple Stride, because these are people that are affected by the disease, but you know, some are survivors, some are going through it, but a lot of them, they just know somebody. So um, Hope's Alive kind of shows people who are going through it, whether they're diagnosed or whether they're just affected as a caregiver, that we're all in this together. We're going to figure this out together. We're standing side by side on the best days, on the worst days. It's just, you know, it's something to look forward to um, in, in such a scary time. And we decided, and this is why I said go download it, because all of the proceeds go to Pancreatic Cancer Action Network. We're trying to raise a million dollars, and we definitely believe that this song has something to say, and it's powerful beyond just pancreatic cancer. So please go download it on any platform, because it will be going to Pancreatic Cancer Action Network, which is doing amazing things for research and patient services. And... It's just for a good cause and, and something that we've been affected by. So we're hoping that, you know, we can make a little bit of change, a little bit of footprint in this. Is the link in your bio? Tell them where they can find the link to download. Yeah, so you can go to, we have the music video on YouTube. The link uh, for iTunes is in that bio on my website, AaronWillett.com. It's so simple. You go to AaronWillett.com, the main page is the music video, and right below it is a link to download the song. Um, so AaronWillett.com is probably the easiest way to kind of see the video and download it, read a little bit about it. We have survivors that are on the 
choir in the song that we brought into the studio, which is really cool. We, I've already seen a few of them walking around and they're gonna be performing with us. And that was such a great experience for them to come into the studio and be a part of the song. So we're just really happy for it. And we hope that people kind of take it and, and we've heard so, so much feedback about it. People are like messaging us. And um, I, you know, I had a, a, a gentleman who emailed me about how you know, his wife was going through treatment of pancreatic cancer and the song came out on his birthday and it was like the most amazing birthday gift to just have something to bring the family together. So that's what we're hoping it can do. So just please go out and download it because beyond that, it's just 99 cents. But if you imagine 1 million people doing it, it, it doesn't seem that hard. Well, guys, go download it because it really is a great song. <laughs> yeah, it's a great anthem. I, hopefully, it'll pump you up and make you realize that hope is alive no matter what you're doing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Erin, for being here. And don't forget to tune in next time, guys, as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop, pop culture. If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.